Welcome back, everybody, to Wasanchido Dojo. Uh, thanks for joining me here. We got we're on a, a casual Sunday today. We're doing day 21 out of 30 days martial arts for beginners, and we're doing choking today. So, Jime Waza. Jime means choking, and Waza means techniques. So, choking techniques today. We got Bob one. We got Bob two, and we got our dojo. We got you guys. So let's get started with our choking people out. Safety first though, which I'll go into. Let's go, yeah, let's go, yeah, yeah. You're nothing, Maruso. You're nobody, your teachers are nothing. You're nothing, get up, get up. You can't do it, you can't beat me. You're nothing, you're nothing. Get out of here, Louis. Your teacher's nothing. Your, your belt, nothing. Get out of here, Luso. The first thing I want to talk about today with our choking class, our Jimmy Waza choking techniques, is safety. Safety first especially when it comes to choking and choking with on the neck, neck and throat. So when we're doing our, when you're choking somebody on their throat and you're pinching the sides of their throat with a rear choke uh, that we're gonna go into or any kind of choke where you're pressing into the sides, cutting off the blood flow uh, to the carotid arteries here, blood flow to the, blood flow to the brain. You can make the person pass out with about five to seven seconds. Anything more than about seven seconds, uh, you need to stop immediately um, because they've once they pass out, block the, the flow to the, the blood to the brain, they'll pass out, you need to let go immediately. Okay? And if you're working with a partner, go very, very slowly and make sure the partner knows how to tap. So that's two or three or as many taps as needed. You shouldn't be waiting more than two taps. So if somebody's getting choked, or if you're getting choked, you tap your partner to tell them to stop immediately. So make sure you know that and understand that. Make sure you know that if you're gonna choke somebody, tap out before even f four seconds. You know, you, you're getting close, you're, um, you're getting choked and all the pressure there, make sure you tap immediately within a second or two. Uh, worst case, you just you pass out after five to seven seconds. You wake up in 15, 20 minutes. Everything will be fine. But safety first, especially with that. This is for self-defense only. Obviously, uh, using as much. You know, if you're in a real situation, you can make the person pass out and then let go. If you hold them and if you hold the that choke too long, that can eventually um, be fatal. For the person and or brain damage you cutting off the blood and um the blood flow to the brain oxygen to the brain for too long um while they're passed out that's that's fatal that can be fatal if you hold it long enough 30 45 seconds or more and then um or brain damage if you do, if you at a certain point if you if they end up surviving so striking or pressure on the Adam's apple, matsukaze. That's a Japanese term for Adam's apple, uh, matsukaze. So Adam's apple is um, either striking straight in, punching, striking, um, knife hand even. Uh, you could call, you could push the Adam's apple into the uh, the throat and collapse the throat, and that could be fatal as well. Um, you could learn to do a nice like soft, quick strike. And it hit, the, or even you can um, just a finger flick to the Adam's apple. That's that's pretty safe. But um, any any training with your partners, Adam's apple stuff is off limits. Um, you can do you can just do a little bit to yourself. You flick your flick your own uh, Adam's apple with with your thought with your fingers, or even just a little. Um, uh, you know, flicking your finger or just your fingers loosely, you can already tell that that's very uncomfortable. So, 
Adam's apple is a no-no uh, for, for your partners and for training partners, unless you really are advanced and, know it, and you want to like practice a little, but no, don't do it. None of that. And one of the last things is a protection. It's a, it's a protection technique against being choked or um, struck in the Adam's apple or in the throat area. Now this isn't really a protection against um, a rear naked choke or a you know, three point choke, a rear choke. Uh, as for this, this is for if you're getting grabbed in the front of the throat, if you're getting um, strike, you're about to get struck in the front of the throat. I had this happen in a demonstration where um, somebody threw a rope over my head during a demonstration. We didn't fully talk about it, but he went and he threw the rope from his uh, rope dart, Shin Biao, rope dart over my head. And he did, um, which I'll demonstrate later. And he did, um, he put his, he put the rope over my neck, turned his back to me and, and picked me up over, um, didn't throw me, but he picked me up and I was, I was up on his back, on my back, on his back. My feet are off the ground. And I had to do this technique, which is called, uh, it's, I don't actually remember what it's called, but um, let me get close to the camera. So here's my Adam's apple. You're gonna pull your tongue back into the back of your throat. And then this is gonna suck up. So you're putting the back of your tongue, take the back of the tongue and press it, pull it back and up to pull up and back the throat. So just like that. See how it pulls it up? Now when you pull it up, and you spread out the spread out the neck muscles. Now, if you get struck there, your Adam's apple is much more safe. And it's protected. Looks like this. <laughs> Looks funny, kind of silly, but it really works. And it really worked for me in that real situation, even though it was a demonstration. I was <laughs> the rope, it was actually a pretty small rope. And I was like, and I had to do that. So it, it helped to keep the pressure off of my Adam's apple and my um, dokatsu, which is your, which is another Japanese term for your whole trachea, your throat from the whole trachea here, top to bottom. All right, so safety first. Wanted to get that out of the way very first The next thing. technique is, again, um, from the front, and that's the spear hand or just fingers into the mirasame. Mirasame is the uh, is the divot right between the collarbones here. It's the very bottom of the very bottom right there. First thing I want you to do is just press, press in. Take these two fingers, press it straight, very gently, and just feel how uncomfortable that is. And just go until it's uncomfortable, and and then stop. And you can also, so you're pressing in and then down as well, but don't, don't do that to yourself. Just know that you can go, well, you can do it. You can do it a little bit to yourself. You can go in and kind of just have to stop talking. Just go in and very gently down. I'm literally just going in just like a half of an inch. And I'll, we'll talk about that. Your whole trachea, your throat from the whole trachea here, top to bottom. All right. So safety first. Wanted to get that out of the way very first thing. Now, so one of the first things I wanna talk about is the rear choke, rear naked choke, some people call it. It's um, one of the most widely known techniques for if, when you think about choking or uh, UFC choking, stuff like that. So we're gonna do rear choke with two hands, so a three-pointed choke, and we're gonna do one hand. And oops. I usually have this on the other side. But I don't have that today. Okay. Rear choke, one and two hands. Rear naked choke. This is what you need to know. Get your partner, get a bob and let them stand in front of you or kneel down in front of you. It's also good to just 
be able to kneel down okay, with, a, with a partner. This is actually easier right here. So get your bob number two or your partner, have them kneel or sit in front of you. You can kneel down on one knee, take your hand, take one arm, so my right arm, you're gonna play, play, uh, place the your elbow crease right in the very center of their throat. You know, Okay, I've seen people do this where they put their forearm on their front of the throat like this. That's a big no-no. We just um, talked about that with the safety section. Okay, so place the crease of the elbow right in the middle of their throat, okay, right there, on, right where their dekotsu, their throat here, very center. All right, now, Take that right hand and place it on the left bicep. Okay. Take the left hand and go into the back of their head. Okay, this is a three-point choke, rear naked choke. Okay. Their chin is on top of your, the crease of your of your elbow here. And I hope you guys can hear me. Okay. I keep I keep choking out my uh, my microphone. All right. So again. You're pressing, you get real, real deep in there, pressing their neck. You can take their head and press it in to your arm here, okay? So when you're getting somebody, if they're, if there's a real situation, you know, they're not just gonna let you put you, <laughs> put, put them in a choke. So you're gonna go like this and you're gonna take their head and you're gonna press it into your arm, into your, basically my, my bicep and also press it forward into um, your throat, their throat into your elbow crease. So you're gonna press it in and then sneak that hand underneath there like this, okay? And then your hand is already there. So you're, that's a little trick. So you press it, so you can grab their head here and just, you can almost strike them with your bicep or even their shoulder your shoulder into their head, give them a little, jar them a little bit to break up their, break up their energy, their concentration. Okay, so you get in there. Oh, I know I'm a little off the camera here, but, uh, okay, get over here. And then, so get in there, boom. And then you, you're pressing that head in and then you just sneak that hand up there, grab the bicep, and you just you squeeze, squeeze that arm, squeeze the bicep, and you press forward with the head, okay, and you put your weight into it. Okay, here, just like this. And then you do that until they tap. They tap you, you let go immediately. Again, they'll pass out within five to seven seconds if you hold it, and then you immediately let go if that ever happens. Okay, and then there we pass out, so you gently, gently lay them down. If that ever happens, that's, I've never done that to anybody. It's never happened. To me. I've been passed out, I think, once. It's been so long. So that's the rear naked choke. Try both sides. Again, one, two, three, and then squeeze the arm. You squeeze everything, constrict everything very slowly, very gently. And you can take this head if they're really, you know, that's just an extra is just to press with this hand, pressing down and then you can lower your body weight and, and you can squeeze, squeeze the neck. And so that's the rear naked choke. So the next part of this is just doing that with one hand. It's not as, of course, it's not as strong of a choke, but you just reach around, okay? And you grab your own lapel here. If you're wearing a karate gi, you grab your own lapel or your shirt Okay, you can even grab something else really, but grab two people, just joking. <laughs> um, I'm just trying to think of any, another, such, another thing you can grab, but nothing comes to my mind. So you just grab your own shirt, your own lapel here. Again, both ways, pressing in, grabbing. If you wanted to have a free hand, if you want to have your hand free, then you do this, you can grab, and then you pull, you pull this way. So you're just pulling them and you're, Take this hand and you're pulling it this way and, and squeezing your arm. Okay, now you have a free hand to pull out your gun, to pull out your knife, 
to pull out any kind of weapon, to um, get, on your, get on your phone, um, to protect yourself against somebody else coming and choking you, to grabbing things off the ground, debris, throwing rocks, to distract. Um, you can get this hand. Okay, so you can get this hand um, into the other person's eye. You say, just put that, you should put your fingers there. This is, if you're in a real life situation and you have other people, let's say he's got friends or there's other people that are coming at you. You place your fingers right at their eye and you go, hey, I got my fingers on this person's eye. Don't come any closer, back away, or they're not gonna be an eye there anymore. That's if your life, that's again, that's when your life depends on it. You do not want to do anything like that. Again, self-defense is, you know, using equal force to what's being put on, your, on yourself. So you don't want to be pulling out somebody. It's just, you're basically bluffing. You're like, hey, I got, I got my finger in their eye. Don't come any closer. They're, you know, I'm going to rip out their eye. And you don't, you're not really going to do that. Um, unless they come at you with knives and you're about to, you know, your life is on the line. Um, then you start doing any, anything by any means necessary. But you're, you're basically just bluffing them when you're doing stuff like that. Okay. That's the rear choke, one and two hand. And on to the next. Jeez, it's freaking hot. It's hot in this get up, you chode. Now the next uh, section is the f choking from the front. So we got hon jume, gyaku jume, itami jume. Again, jume just means choking. Jume is choking, waza is technique, so choking techniques. Hon jume and gyaku jume, we'll go into that. Itami jume is, is pain choke, itami means pain, pain choke. And a three-pointed choke, just like the rear naked choke, but from the front. Same technique with the hands, just like this. And we'll okay, go now that. we're gonna move to the front for our front chokes. Um, so, Honjume and Gyaku Jume is where we're gonna start with our front choke. So, take your hand. And this, if they're wearing a, if they're wearing a gi top like this, a, a kogi, um, or if they're just wearing a shirt, you can grab their shirt somehow, grab in, grab into their uh, into their shirt collar. That's e that's also easy too. And so you press in, squeeze, and you press your forearm and your wrist up into their neck, and take the other hand on the other side of the gi, the other lapel, and you press it down. You press you pull that down, and you press in with your with your forearm, okay? So again, do it very slowly, very gently, because again, you're going right in the front of their throat. So again, this is like, this is our danger zone here. No fly zone. So you go really gently, careful with the Adam's apple, and you press in until they tap, very slowly. Do it the other side, okay? So if you're, if you're, if you're let's say you're just in front of them, Again, they're just, uh, your partner, you're going real slow, real gentle, but you just imagine that you're standing in front of them. You go right into their collar, grab the other side from below, pressing in with the foot, with the forearm, and down, and pulling down on the other side with the lapel. Taking that lapel and pulling it down, or grabbing their shirt or their coat, and pressing in with the forearm, and pulling down with this other hand, and you press it nice and slowly. The next one is the same kind of idea, but the hand is, the thumb is turned down. So you press 
you go in and you grab, you put the thumb in this time, grab the lapel and the wrist is pressing into the throat. Take the other hand, pull it down, pull the lapel down and you just pressing, put your body weight into it and slowly, slowly press until they tap. Okay, other side, put the thumb in there, grab, pressing up, grabbing the lapel, press pulling down and squeeze until they choke. Practice that. That is hon jime gyaku jime. So now uh, the next one is the three-pointed choke actually. So let's do that one. Um, let's see if I can do that with Bob here. If, that, if we can show that. Okay, so remember the three-pointed choke from behind, the rear naked choke? Okay, same, same position with the hands, but just towards uh, on their front, front side. So you're, you're, you can use the forearm around the back of the neck here. Okay, and then, and this, let's say I'm using my left hand, going behind the back of the head, placing the, my left hand on my right forearm slash elbow crease, okay? And then my right hand goes on their forehead. Okay. And you're gonna squeeze very, very gently and go super slow. And you're just gonna slowly, this is usually when the person's laying down on the ground. They're laying flat. You're over top of them in a grappling uh, ground and pound situation, top mount, okay? Go sneak this hand around the back of the neck Press that hand, or pull the hand right into the, your own um, either upper forearm or bicep or, or crease of the elbow. Place this hand right on the front of their forehead and squeeze very slowly, very gently and pu pushing the forehead back into the ground and then just wait for them to tap. That's a really good one too. That's very dangerous. Um, I think that's actually illegal in Jiu Jitsu or uh, UFC, um, but that's this is again this is self defense for a real life situation. Um, I've seen videos where people in real life situations actually are getting choked out or get, something's happening and they're actually tapping on the the person that's defending themselves against you, which is a weird uh, <laughs> irony. So then then they're defending against you. So. Always be aware of when you're doing things the, um, of being tapped. Tapping out for yourself and also others tapping on you. Can't stress that enough. That's, that's a big, tapping is a really big safety thing. Tapping anywhere, really on the ground, on the body, on your own leg, on your own chest, wherever. Okay. So that's the three pointed choke from the front here. And just I did the other hand here, here, reach around right here, and that can sneak up. If somebody's not waiting, ready for that, you, you go behind the back, and then you go into the choke, and some it's just they don't see it coming. So next section, the next part, next section is the front spear. Uh, more frontal, frontal attack chokes. And so we're gonna talk about the Mirasame here, which is the pressure point for the divot on the throat, which we talked about just a second ago, because I just edited it in, in post. So you press, just, just talk about the pressure point. So you basically, you just, you wanna have a, try to have a partner for this, but again, trying to do things without a partner for the um, video series here, um, martial arts for beginners. So pressing in with the two fingers, nice and gently, if you have a partner. Um, also just if you have a bob or even a punching bag, it's good to, to, what, to see what that feels like with your fingers and your fingertips. Because your fingertips, you don't necessarily push a lot of, you, you don't usually use a lot of strength or techniques with these, with your fingertips like this. So you might see like, oh, my fingers are pretty weak in that, in that way. So you just, 
you press, don't overdo it, hurt your fingers. I actually just feel my, well, I, I have a broken knuckle here a long time ago, middle finger, um, where, the, where the, the finger went all the way back, which is nasty, it's nasty, nasty fall. So I can, I, can, I can actually feel that right now because I don't actually do this very often either. So you press it in there and you can press in and kind of down. And so what you want to do is just do it to yourself a little bit. So just go in and just like, you can feel right away um, how much pressure, it doesn't take very much at all. Um, especially if the person doesn't know how to do their little safety thing where they suck up their, their um, Adam's apple or their just, or, or their throat. You, even as a, as a woman, you know, you do the same thing. It's gonna help just as much. Uh, and then you spread the spread the throat out. Okay, so even that, so that'll help with with if someone starts putting their fingers in there. You can do one of those deals, and that will help. Okay, so then also pressing in and down, just to the very tip, just the tips of the fingers, just the tip. That's all it takes. So. That's in the front, and so if you're in a real situation, okay, you could, you know, throw the, flick the eyes or flick the throat even, and then come in and press the person back, you know, press the person back and walk them. Press it in, like, like it's a, um, maybe you're out and about at a club or you're a bouncer or this or that. Pressing in, excuse me, pressing in and pressing them back, and then, um, then you can maybe go into some other technique from there, or you just be like, Need the person to step back and they won't. You press right there and you go step back, step back, and you press in there and press in and down a little bit. Uh, that will get them to, you know, submit to whatever you're talking about. Do that and grab their fingers. You do one of these. Slap their slap their groin. And those are all kinds of little body techniques and little bouncer slash bodyguarding techniques that are fun to talk about. Fingers, throat, eyes, groin, you know, pressure points, ears. So that's Mirasame and Matsukaze is the Adam's apple. Be careful with that. We talked about that already in the safety section. The Kotsu is the full, uh, the, the full, um, Throat, uh, the trach the trachea, the I hear a windpipe. So that's that's fun. One second. So another way to, to go into that as well, if somebody is coming at you uh, and puts their hands around your neck, uh, even if you're laying down on the ground, this could help too. Uh, so or or one hand. So if someone comes and grabs you like this with two hands, kind of like one of those stereotypical self-defense things. Um, so you literally just turn your body to the side, press your hand out like this. So if Bob is choking me like this, camera back a little bit. So I mean choked. I literally turn, just turn to the side and press my fingers out. You can do this or like this and pressing in. Okay, bring this other hand up. So, cause there's, cause there's hands around my neck. So bring this other hand up, turn to the side and pressing into the neck there, into the throat. Press them away, and then you can go into kicking knees, stomping feet, coming in for more attacks, or, or pressing away. They might, they might just deter them enough to say, oh, I don't want anything to do with this person, and then you just, you, you, they walk away, or you run away, or whatever else. But that at least gives them to, um, gives you a second to do, do the next um, action, because, you know, you're being choked or, you know, you know, you're flight or flight, you know, you're getting choked, do something. So this, that's one thing you do. So practice that at home, have someone just go, you know, put their hands around your neck. You don't have to squeeze you just to give your body and your nervous system a chance to go, Oh my God, I'm actually being choked, you know, and just start very gently. You don't have to even be choked at first. You just put the hands there. Sometimes even just putting the hands there without doing anything could kind of freaks, freaks a person out, you know, bring, it, bring up that fear response. So just start really slowly and go, oh, what do I do, what do I do? And then go, oh, fair inside to um, 
Place the hand up and get, push that fingers into the throat, turn to the side. Turn to the, so turn to the side, here it is, that's the technique. The full technique, so I'm getting choked, I bring this hand up in between the two hands right here, turn to the side and press those fingers right into the, into the neck. You don't want to do it without looking, of course you turn to the side, you, you, you see where your fingers are, and then you turn your head back, press, and then you can do a kick to the knee, you can do this and stomp on her foot, okay? Stop, um, if you have boots on or whatever else, you can hurt their foot pretty bad. There's a pressure, a, a toki is the top of the foot, a pressure point for the top of the foot. But basically you're just out to uh, break their metatarsals, which is their little bones all throughout the foot. T for, t for toes, so tarsals, that's how I remembered metatarsals, metacarpals for the fingers, for the, or for the hand. So that's the full technique for that, te for that right there. Fingers into the throat. Next choke is, let's say Bob is uh, maybe throwing a punch or just reaching his hand out to my, towards me and out to my head or my face or maybe he's coming to actually choke. Okay, so um, first thing I wanna do is take this hand and parry it out of the way. Take the other hand and come in right to the throat. Okay, using my hands just like this and coming right to the throat just like this. Okay, so literally choking somebody, you can choke their, their katsu, you can just put, press their fingers. Again, do this to yourself first. So just feel where the windpipe is. Just really gently feel uh, what that feels like. At first it feels pretty gross. It's like, oh my God, that's, that's you know, kind of nasty. But uh, it's real important to know. You can kind of just very gently move it left and right, but you're just barely even moving it. You're just it, it's not even uncomfortable at this point. You don't want to make it too uncomfortable. And then um, you, what you do is, the technique is actually pressing your fingers all the way in there, okay, really hard, and getting around the, 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 um, around the edges, and you can squeeze the windpipe. I've never done that to anybody. I've never had that happen to me. Um, I've seen a real life situation in person where somebody's done that to somebody, where they've choked them out they were, the person was down on the ground and the other one was up, a kneeled down next to them with their hand underneath and just, just squeezing their windpipe enough to, to get them to stop the fight. And then they were fine. They just got up and walked away. Um, so that, that is definitely is a, um, a powerful technique. So again, start with yourself. And you can go in there and you just squeeze the windpipe slowly and the person will stop um, usually because uh, if they can't breathe, they can't do anything. So that's another part of the self-defense where it's eyes, throat, knees, and groin. So the last part of this is, um, is pressing it from the side. So if you can see, See, I'm just moving my throat a little bit to the side. So if you if you got your hand on somebody's neck, you can press that thumb in there and just pressing it to the side one way or the other, or pulling with your fingers one way or the other. Okay, that's another way. Okay, moving on to the Let's next section. Go just a little bit more into the Itami Jume, which is pain choke. Again, said it like 16 times already. Um, so, you gotta fix, fix Bob's gi because he can't do it to himself. Can, can you get a goddamn clean looking dummy around here? All right. So, we talked about um, squeezing the, the trachea, the dakatsu, pressing into the mirasame, the little divot there. Those are part of Itami Jume as well, pain chokes, uh, pressing to the side the um, the throat to the side one way or the other um, just a claw hand if there's a case where you're just right into the face clawing fingers into the eyes and you're gonna press up okay you can press up 
and get up under, under, the, under the chin, okay? And this could really just disorient a person. If you get into their face, just having the hand in their face, and then you're pressing up, again, where the body, uh, control the head, control the body. So wherever the head goes, the body goes. So get under that chin, press the fingers into the eyes, and then you can kind of press up and back, and you can go into a sweep the legs. Uh, you can press the person up against the wall. I mean, it, it, who knows, you know, list goes on, different kinds of things. You, there's something they trip over and they fall, um, grab their arm and up like this, and then they kind of, they're up, and then you they pull the arm and they're off balance. Then it's easier to sweep them down, you know, those kinds of things. Or you can go like this, and then you can go into a different kind of a choke or a throw. Okay, or you can go like this, and then they turn to the side, and then, there's, then you're to the side of them. Then you can go into a rear choke. I mean, the, the, the list goes on with different uh, variations. So, but the idea is hand in the face, eye, uh, fingers in the eyes, and get under the chin and pressing up. Okay, get the, get the other hand on them, get the other hand on that arm, get the other hand on their shoulder, their clothing here, so you can manipulate them and control them. So that's one, Tommy Jamey. Taking the ears, okay? Taking the ears, grabbing them with both your hands, like this. And you can kind of, you can do this very gently on a person. You can take, take a partner um, and do that. Grab your own ears just, just for fun. Just, you can grab them and pull them back. It's actually a good, a very good massage is to just grab your, Grab your um, ears and just kind of pull them back and scrape your palms across them. That's a good little massage. But it's just to get the feeling of what that feels like to grab that flesh, that soft ear. It doesn't take much to really pull, you know, the old, um, watch an old movie or you'll, you're, maybe even your grandma, or grandpa took you by the ear and said, get over here, you little bag. And then did it like fucking, your grandma did karate on you and said, hey, you pick up those dominoes or those marbles, you ain't getting any freaking dessert, whatever it may be. So, that's ear grabbing. So anyways, you can grab the ears and you press and push and pull. Push and pull on the ears. And you literally take somebody down as you push and pull and you could take somebody down just like that where you just kind of the, it'll disorient them enough to be like, nobody's ever <laughs> grabbed my ears and twisted them. Um, they'll go where you want to go. If, if they're not having a big adrenaline rush and they're not, you know, they're also, they're not a trained fighter, they're gonna go where you want them to go. Okay. So that's Itami Jume, the basics. Um, there's, you know, if they're down on the ground, you can press into their, their throat, but we already went into enough of that already. So, uh, also, okay, pain, pain, um, Itami Jume's pain techniques, grabbing the groin, handful of groin, and pulling it, okay? You can smack the groin and grab, and as you're grabbing, they're like, oh my God, what's going on, ouch. Take the other hand right into the face, let go, and you can go into that technique. And then once you get this technique, you're going, you're pressing them up and they're off, they're off balance, grab them by the ears and throw them down. So see how this can all start going together just with the, just with the Tommy Jimmy, just with these pain choking te te techniques. So you grab the groin, or maybe you go to the eyes and you just got your hand in the face, grab the groin, pull it, you go, ouch my groin, and then you go back to the face Pressing it up, then you grab the ears, you press them to the side, and maybe that's not working, but they're off balance and they're turned around. That's when you can go into a reverse rear choke behind them, kick their knee out from underneath them, take them down to the ground, get their, you know, there's other friends, you get their, your fingers in the eyes and you bluff and you go, I got my finger in the eye. So, and again, that's mainly just for bluffing. You not want to pull anybody's eye out. You wouldn't want your eye pulled out. Just talking about it is, is nasty. But again, um, this, if, if it's your life or theirs, um, 
you got to do what you got to do. And, and, and there's, um, there's a lot of, there's a lot of crazy, weird things happening on the streets. Um, these days I'm following a lot. I'm, I am following some of the stuff. I'm following a lot of the politi political nonsense. Um, there's a lot of these cities that are getting overrun with people and they're fighting, they're punching women, they're punching old people. Um, random people are getting knives pulled out on them, stabbed and for no real reason at all. I mean, so it just motivates me more and more to get these get videos like this out. And uh, I, took a break of, I took a break a long time from doing a lot of the teaching and martial arts training myself. I was doing other stuff like I became a yoga teacher. I, um, I became a Qigong teacher. I took Qigong courses. I did a lot of internal healing, martial arts healing stuff, um, Chinese medicine. Uh, that I went into, I dove into that for a solid, um, I did that for a solid 12, 10 to 12 years. While I did some martial arts stuff still, but it wasn't my big focus. And now I'm getting back and rounding out my um, training with over almost 25 years of martial arts um, under my belt and getting back into teaching again, teaching online and um, putting it all together. So that's what Wisanchido is, is our, is the martial arts. It's the, also the arts, which is, it's also yoga and the healing and the Qigong and the Tai Chi. Okay, I, be, I, I taught Tai Chi with, with the senior center. Uh, I'm, no, I'm no Tai Chi master, of course, um, but I've done a lot of Tai Chi and enough to know a good foundation of it and uh, the techniques that come from it and what they actually, um, for the most part, what, they're, what, they're, what they do, what they're, what they're good for. So, that next technique is, uh, the next technique is another big one. It's the triangle choke, and that's used uh, very much in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, Jiu Jitsu, grappling, wrestling, UFC. It's, a, it's, a, it's one of the big ones, so I just wanna cover that one. So triangle choke and then dojime, which is body tech, uh, body choke. And so we'll go over that as well. Okay, next technique is triangle choke. This is another big one um, that's good for the street and for the ring. Um, so the triangle choke is really, that's a, that's a game ender. That's a, um, that's a tapper outer technique. So there's lots of different types of triangle techniques, triangle, triangle chokes. I don't know them all. I've seen a bunch. Um, again, this is, I'm not a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, uh, but I've been doing this kind of stuff for, you know, years and years and years, particularly when I first started doing training uh, 15, 20 years ago. But I definitely wanted to include this one because this is one of the big, big, big ones. Um, but if you really get into this kind of stuff, there's lots of different tri triangle chokes. This is just a very basic one. So you have your partner or you have your, your Bob, Bob number two. And they are, they are in a top mount position. You are on the ground, okay, just like this. Um, the first thing you want to do is to not let them get their legs over your legs like this. Okay. If their legs are on top of you like this, this isn't one of those grappling dummies that have like, they're like in there <laughs> and they're in one of those like all fours position. So anyways, you want to keep their hips, keep them back away from you. Press your feet into their hips and their top of their thighs. Push them away from you. You want to get them. You do not want to be have their legs over your legs. Okay, that's not part of the triangle choke, but well, it kind of is because it's setting you up for the triangle choke. You want to get their head further away from your head as possible. Okay. So shoulders pressing in the hips, 
whatever you can do to keep them that way. Okay? Now, if they're down here and you have your, hand, your legs around their waist like this, actually the first tech, um, one of the techniques for this section is the dojime, which is body choke. So if you got your legs around their ribs or just below the ribs on the, on the, the body, soft part of the body, you can cross your, cross your ankles and you just squeeze the thighs together and pull the feet away. That's choking the body and that can also, even if it doesn't make them tap out, if somebody doesn't know what they're doing, they're gonna definitely tap out. Um, uh, you lose your breath and um, you'll, they'll be tapping pretty quick. So, um, what was I gonna say? Um, that's basically it for the body choking technique. You just squeeze and squeeze and squeeze until they tap out or until they can't breathe if this is a real situation, okay? So that's one of the body techniques. Um, now going to the triangle choke again. So, oh, that's what I was gonna say. Even if it doesn't make them tap out, you will, it will tire them out. You're, what you're also doing is sometimes it's a tiring game. Who's gonna, you know, who's gonna go um, get tired first? So, what you wanna do is you get, you take your hand and you wanna press their hand under your leg like this and get your leg right next to their neck. All right, keep their hand away, pressing their neck, pressing their head back into your leg. Take the other hand, and basically you're, you're choking them with one side, one leg and their own arm and slash shoulder. So again, what you're doing is clamping the feet together, pulling the head towards you, okay? Back of the head, pulling it towards you, and pressing and pulling this arm because they're gonna try to get their arm out. This, this, um, this arm that's stuck right here, they're gonna try to get that out. So you wanna pull that arm in any way you can with your hands, cinching their elbow, their arm, their clothes, pulling that. And you wanna press and squeeze and press your feet away while pulling on this arm and pulling down on the neck and head. So once you get the arm and you squeeze, then you start pulling here on the head and you press and you extend your leg out and then they're in big trouble. They are gonna tap. So again, this is the, one of the basic, that's the very basic foundation of a triangle choke. There's triangle chokes when you're on top, which I don't know too much about. There's triangle chokes when you're using, um, you're using the, um, their, their collar and doing different things. I really didn't get that involved. With, in, with all the different types of triangle chokes. But I just wanted to show you the basic triangle choke. To just recap real quick, again, if they're on top of you, you wanna keep them away from you, pressing into the hips, pressing into the shoulders, pressing their head back, okay? You're fighting, you're fighting, you're fighting. Press one, you want one arm to go down, and you want one leg to come over the head like this. They're gonna, they're gonna try to get this arm, they're gonna try to get their other arm away. You go, no, 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 I want that arm. And you're pulling it, okay? And you wanna get your legs cinched as quick as possible. The second you get that arm down here, you wanna cinch that leg real quick, okay? And while they're struggling with this arm, you can pull the head down, press the head in, pressing the head into my other leg, the, the leg that's right on the neck. Again, remember the three-pointed choke? Pressing the head into the arm, pressing the head into the, into the, my leg, my thigh, pulling this arm, and then squeezing. So their arm and their shoulder is basically um, squeezing the one side of the neck and my leg is squeezing the other side. So it's, it's doing a, um, you know, it's a, it's, a, it's a rear naked choke or it's a sleeper hold, basically. And you can put them to sleep this way as well. Again, wait for the, wait, go really slow, wait for them to tap. Tap out, okay, let go immediately. If it's a real life situation, same thing. If it's a real life situation, you, and if you put them to sleep like this, again, seven, eight seconds, and you see that they've, they, if, it, if you're, if they go limp, and it's been seven, eight seconds, no more than 10 seconds, 
you let go immediately and see um, that they've passed out because then, you know, at that point they'll be fine. So, that's triangle choke and body choke, which is dojime. Uh, two more things we're going to go into, which is choking with a rope and also a little bit more uh, itami jume, which is pain, pain choke. So then you take the person, you drag them off. Ooh, careful. And the last one um, we're gonna we're gonna do is uh, just choking with a rope from behind. So, and then with a throw. So I'll demonstrate as much as that um, with both the bobs, bob one and bob two. Uh, with that technique, using a rope or a chain, using a um, Kasari Fundo or a Minriki Kusari. So, uh, the last technique is our, our rope, using rope to choke. Now I'm going to try to do this as best I can because <laughs> it's not a real life person, but let's just take Bob here. Here I got my, my rope weighted chain with my little um, little pads on the outside, so um, pads with some duct tape. <laughs> so anyways, the technique that I learned, one of the first techniques I learned with the Manrique Gosari, or at least with, with like a rope situation, is you're sneaking up behind somebody, okay? Remember, if you watch my stealthing video, okay, stealthing up behind somebody, having the chain or the rope. Let's so imagine I'm stealthing up and you just, Again, have it loose, and you just flip it around the neck, and you pull. That's as easy as it gets right there. Press the knee into the back, lower back, uh, take the instep, the inside of the foot, kick the back of the knee out, pull them down, okay, and then from there you can, you can choke even more with the chain, or you can let the chain go and go into reverse um, a rear naked choke, three-pointed choke. I can't remember the Japanese word name for the three-pointed choke. That is right here. Sankaku, Sankaku Jimai. Three-pointed choke. Katate Jimai is the one one-hand choke, like right, right into the front of the of the of the, of the throat there. Hon Jimai, Gyaku Jimai, Itami Jimai, Sankaku Jimai, Do Jimai, which is the body choke, and Gyaku. We didn't do that one. Kiyaku Joji Jume. Katati Jume. So. so, rope technique, rope choke. Here, you can cross. So you take, the, take the, the ends of the rope and you cross your hands in the back. Okay, that's even more. And then, like I said, choking, press the knee into the lower back and pull back. Take out the lower knee with the instep kick. Okay, pull them back and down and choke them. And then you can wrap your legs around them and do a body choke, just like we did earlier with, with Bob 2. Bob Dos. Okay, so you're here, you're here, they're down. And uh, pressing, crossing the legs, squeezing the body, pulling, pulling back with the rope. Again, crossing the rope in the back here. And, and squeezing with the legs and pushing the legs away. All right, and one of the last things we'll, I'll talk about is the throw. So, let's see if I can get this on camera, <laughs> decent. I did this earlier, because it's been a while since I had throw, thrown somebody with this technique, because we did this technique a bunch years ago, years ago. So I practiced this a few times and it worked pretty good. So again, so the tech, one of the techniques is you if the person is standing, imagine that they're standing up, boom, around the neck. Um, you don't have to cross them, but just bring them close, close together with your hands. And so let's stand Bob up. So again, they're here. Uh. <laughs> um, so here, and then you turn your back and you, like, you, like you have it over your shoulder just like this. So you just turn, press your back into them like this. And then pull and pop and down. And they're not going to feel good. 
press their head into the ground, press your knee into their back, uh, all kinds of different things from there, but we're not gonna go into that. All right. <sighs> Two, three. Bob one and Bob two, uh, Bob one one, that, that one right there. All right, and these dummies are hilarious. I love in one of my funniest, one of my favorite things in movies is when they have, it's usually a sarcastic movie or a, a parody, when they use a dummy and they just, the, the mostly the 80s and 90s movies, but the dummy gets, you can clearly tell it's a dummy, it's just like tosses it off a building or it's, just, it's like being swung around and thrown between, through a room. Uh, that is just like so huh? damn funny to me. All right. This is like the longest video I think so far. Long, but a really good one. We covered a lot of awesome stuff. Again, choking, just as long, just along with everything else, is safety first. Working with a partner, you go really slow, really gentle, um, and then you work yourself up from there to do a little more, go a little quicker and a little faster. Once you start, under, you know, especially if you're working with a partner, you've worked with a lot. So, day 21, I'll see you guys on day 22. Keep training and stay safe out there. Uh, subscribe, like, in, like uh, in Van Damme's YouTube video, he was just like, yeah.